Hours after autopsy done for Mubad, federal government gives powerful order uh, to arrest, prosecute anyone that is found guilty of his death. Hmm. Ah, wow. So now, presidency has put a hand in this matter now. Police has released the autopsy and uh, they said they should kill anyone behind his death. That is what is coming out here. So let's get the details and let's see what federal government is trying to tell us here. The presidency has made a firm commitment that anyone found guilty in connection with the tragic death of the first rising Nigerian singer Ileri Oluwa Oladi Meji Aloba, known as Mubad, will face prosecution. This announcement came from Morembi Ujudu, the senior special assistant to President Bola Tinubu on community engagement in southwest Nigeria during her visit to the late singer's family in Lagos. Boy. So Judu provided reassurance to the grieving family that justice will be served to all wrongdoers once they are proven guilty through the ongoing police investigation. She emphasized that the case will not be overlooked, highlighting President Tirubu's personal interest in the matter. During her visit, the mother of the deceased, <coughs> who was visibly emotional, expressed her gratitude for the presidency uh, gesture and urged strict justice from the relevant authority. The Afrobeat singer Mubad met a controversial end on September 13th, sparking widespread public outrage among fans, celebrities, and prominent figures. Additionally, Senator Ishaku Abo, representing Adamawa State North Senatorial District and Chairman of the Senate Committee on Entertainment Economy pledged to ensure that anyone implicated in Mubad's death through the ongoing police investigation will face prosecution. Hmm. He made this commitment during a condolence visit to the late artist family, joined by Nollywood actresses Eya Bojo and Tonto DK. Okay. Senator Abo also mentioned that the Senate will investigate the circumstances surrounding the artist's death and advocated for the establishment of a Creative Economic Commission citing the passage of a relevant bill. So he emphasized that anybody is a no that nobody is above the law eh, and stress the Nigerian police commitment to holding accountable anyone found guilty in connection with the untimely demise of the late artist. Hmm. Anyone found guilty in mobile death will be prosecuted. That's what the president is saying. And so in conclusion, both the presidency and Senator Abo have affirmed their commitment to pursuing justice in the case of Mubaz's death and ensuring that those responsible are brought to account. The tragic uh, incident continues to be a matter of national concern and calls for a thorough investigation to ascertain the truth. Hmm. I see this. I just hope that all these moves are not political because with the way they are fingering them, with the way they are fingering the connection of these prime suspects with the government, eh? although all of them are still suspect for now, I think they will not put, do all this move and be, be put the thing on innocent people and just wipe them and say they have met justice. Meanwhile, the real culprits will be working freely in the society. This will be a very bad world. I tell you, but they need to do a very good investigation to be sure that the right people are the people that are persecuting, not uh, eye service. Okay? Uh, so there's a comment here. Uh, somebody is saying, please, you guys should not take it easy with any guilty person that is found, that found this guy that really touched me. Can you imagine? So when government asks you to stand, please run for your life, oh. Their words doesn't hold water again as far as they want to put the word protection. Okay, there's money to seal their deals. Many of these people are above the law. I could remember my teacher in primary school telling me that nobody is above the law. Rich men are now above the law. Why the poor masses suffer in the hands of the law? Exactly. Don't worry. 
uh, press this Mubad's death will be different. Justice for Mubad. This time around, rich will actually face the law. I just hope so. Someone say, may God, so may God do so, so that bribery will blind fold the advocators. Hmm. Bribery, please do not cover their faces. Yes, so that others will learn. Okay, so thorough investigation should be done. Sha, that's what somebody is saying here. So, in as much as people are applauding the move made by the senator and uh, and uh, the presidency with some other celebrities there, people like uh, Yabo Joe and Toto Dike, uh, we should make sure that this does not go by just ordinary rhetorics and before you know it, the case will die a natural death. That is not what we want. We want justice, we want justice. We want justice, we want justice. That is it. Now, with the way they are fingering them, like they brought the real name of uh, Meramale, that is a cousin or a niece to Fachola. Okay? Okay? So, or is he a nephew? A nephew to Fachola or, or so? So, the, the issue here is that people are already, already trying to link Meramale to the government. And people are also already linking Samlari to the uh, or by uh, Legushi, which Legushi has come out to say they don't know them, they are not part of them, they are not part of him, he's not working for them. Okay, so but at the end of the day, with all of this put together and with the way we know Lagos to be, that is now a state of thought where government, the state government has so much, uh, you know, uh, how do I put it, connection with the Agberos and the Touts because of political reasons and, and vote, vote manipulation. It makes it very difficult to believe whatever government is saying here. Okay. And Narambali is somebody that they are already linking. Uh, people are saying that it's linked to, to all of them, even in presidency. So because of the amount of protests that have gone, uh, that have gone around the country before, for Mubad, government definitely out of shame will say something. But will they follow through what they're saying? That is another thing again. Will police finish this job? That's another thing again, because this is not going to be a small one if they can do it very well. But I think because the masses are involved and the masses are always calling them out, maybe the masses will also supervise exactly what these people or these government agencies are doing in the name of investigation. So that is the promise that both the presidency has made and uh, the senator has made and other uh, celebrities join them as well. So we hope that justice is served because uh, the thing is just very shocking. Somebody has been crying and about like singing and prophesying his death. Nobody took it serious. Now he's dead. And now it's a very, we found that it is not ordinary and everybody's rising. So I think people should rise now and let's see if at least this can curb the amount of uh, uh, how do I put it? Lawlessness in our society. Okay? Look at the connection with uh, NDLA, connection with police, connection with Naramali, connection with all of them. A lot of stories have come out on this matter. Only God will help us in this country so that the kind of lifestyle that our youth are living can be managed and probably be curbed once and for all. 